The day is ruled by the metal dragon. This is day nine of the cycle water rooster. The dragon is a flamboyant person, impetuous and lucky. The dragon has a blessing of four things, wealth, virtue, harmony, and long life. As long as its life is under its control, the dragon is full of energy and is convinced it is superior. It's a natural leader with great wisdom. To live life to the fullest, the dragon must feel itself as the chosen one, the object of destiny with a special mission to perform. The dragon is a person of the moment and likes big enterprises. It may be a little inclined to megalomania. At the same time, it's sincere. It is full of enthusiasm, intuitive and has superior intelligence. It is widely admired, which allows it to expert influence. It follows only its own judgment. It's full of its own idealism, but can get lost there, not knowing how to cut corners. If you oppose it, it will fight you bravely and will not mince its words. It speaks out frankly and has no manner. It never accepts defeat and nothing can overcome it. In society, it likes pomp and is a born showman. It is a visionary and mocks at preachers and failed idealists. It's also generous and energetic and a good friend whose advice is valuable. The dragon is very open and cannot easily conceal its explosive feelings. It is a sincere but demanding lover, metal. It has all characteristics of a blade, coldness, dryness, clarity, purity, firmness, and sharpness. It's a symbol of integrity and justice and cuts through with resolution. When rigid, it becomes destructive and impedes progress. Despite that, it's also a magnetic and joyful element. It symbolizes sexuality and pleasure, an excellent day for long journeys, marriage, blessings, teachings, and the transmission of power initiations, and all major undertakings. It is good for building and ceremonies day of the dragon, favorable religious practice consecrations, monastic ordinations, construction of religious buildings, rituals for removing negative forces, unfavorable plowing rituals of rain, navigation crossing mountain passes, journeys, surgical operations, war morning theft, Tuesday, favorable military operations, conquests, and worthful rituals, sporting activities, beginning of a reign, starting a family, moving house, borrowing money, magic, fire rituals, rituals for removing obstacles, and games of change, unfavorable ordination, marriage, sacraments, and purification, giving a name or title, actions connected with death or with the transference of consciousness, or foa, adopting a child, hiring a servant, the arts, festivals, buildings, preparation of medicine, sowing and planting, irrigation, trade, contracts and acts of peace. It is a violent and warlike day and does not favor journeys. Summary, it's also a great day for hair cutting due to attracting energy. And it's also very good for wealth rituals and activities that provide material support. Like and subscribe for more Tibetan astrology. Have a great day, all.